Hey, stop scrolling and watch this video to the end. You don't want to miss it. Watch it all the way to the end. I brought Christian to the knees, not to prayer, because they had no power. It, it, it wasn't because your God wasn't all powerful. Don't get me wrong. Because your God was all powerful. The vessel was weak. Ooh. The vessel had no prayer life. The prayer had no fasting life. And it had no relationship with God. There was a form of godliness in the person, but no power. The person was weak. The person had nothing going. He had a Bible. He had the right suit on. She had the right dress on. But there was no connection with Jesus Christ. Because he was out of his will, he was out of his promises, and he was out of his divine purpose. And I had you, I own you, I had you as a slave. I broke you, I put witchcraft on you. I kept doing that to Christian after Christian after Christian after families, after churches. I chased everything down that represented the cross of Jesus. If you know my testimony, you know I was going to be a dual inducted warlock. I've been to Haiti and seen voodoo rituals done in front of me. I've been to New Orleans being trained up by a santero. I was learning and I was getting deeper, but this guy was deep into it. He was a full-blown warlock. I thank God he saved me before I got deep. But listen, he said it. Powerless Christians that have no relationship with God were easy to get hit. If you know God is all-powerful, I want you to comment down below. God is power.